Damn. Most of y'all know. Uh, most of y'all know y'all boy Christopher Nizzy back with another Neil. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna watch six Neils today. You know what I'm saying? Let's get him, man. Um, hold on. I'm watching Neil. I'm eating, y'all. I'm eating a fucking snack on that motherfucker. Bitch. I'm eating a fucking snack. I, nah, I need to stop. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna watch the Neil, y'all. DDG, we talking about DDG on these. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to that. But y'all know, y'all know what? I'm gonna watch this basketball game. Uh, a top, a top rank seventh grader was his Steve Nash Jr. Steve Nash got a son. I didn't even know that he got a son. Like damn, Steve Nash got a son, y'all. I think still has Steve Nash. I think his son is gonna be really. I think he'll be a hooper hooper. I think he's gonna make it to the man just like his just like his uh dad. He might get dry. He might be uh a top five. He, I think he's gonna be a top ten. Like uh I think he'll be draft top ten. He might be top ten in the MA draft. Like for real, cause he's he's the Nas um son, so he might be top ten. But hey, we're gonna get to this nil. Enough with the talk. Um, He's like that. Get a popper, man. I really like that. He's like that, y'all. Damn. 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 Who's winning? Is the right team is who's winning, but is the right team is winning or the blue team? Winning? I have no idea who's winning this goddamn basketball game. Johnson take over in the clutch. In the clutch, damn! I didn't know he take over this time. I didn't know. God damn, did he? That shit hurts. Damn, break his ankles. I'm up, fucking bro. Look at that boy hair. The boy hair so long, y'all. I need to get a haircut. I need to cut my head. I'm going to keep my mustache and my beard, but I'm cutting out my damn hair. For real. Um, um, I don't. What is y'all? But, oh, of course, they're going to put these damn horses on. Shit pisses me off. But most of y'all know I weigh like a 1135. I know some weight today, y'all. Thank God I don't watch some weight. I watch a lot of weight. Down. Down. Wow. Okay. This is Hooper Hooper, man. I'm just Hooper Hooper, y'all. These are Hoopers, y'all. Hoopers versus Hoopers. Let's get it. Damn. He, he baby. Y'all big by the y'all. Damn. I don't see nothing applies, but nothing applies me in this game. That make, they're scoring buckets, but... Nothing get me shocked. The, the bucket they score the don't get me the press. It don't even impress press me. It don't. That that junk don't really impress me. It just don't.
Damn. No free throws? No free throws. Damn. Okay. Still has Drew. This is the Nass. Steve, this is Steve Nass Jr., y'all? Steve Nass Jr. in this motherfucker. I'm sorry, y'all. But of course they put these fucking awesses on. I hate when they put these goddamn awesses on. I can't stand if they put these awesses on. I just don't understand, like, why they put these awesses on. I don't understand, bro. I really don't understand, bro. But the people that put these damn Wilsons, I'm like, damn, bro. The fact they gotta put Wilsons, I'm just like, fuck. That's just how I am. If they put a Wilsons on, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I just be like, fuck. I think they put these Wilsons on. Like, I sh- Like, But this is my first nil that I'm watching, y'all. We'll talk. Still make buckets, bro. But like, he still score buckets, bro. This dude score buckets back to back, bro. games like I told y'all straight up about at like, the basketball game that dude is a top seven ranked basketball player bro and only that he scores buckets you know that's what he does on the basketball court like completely like did dude play against everybody on the court yo if I'm right or wrong if I'm right or wrong though. but I can't tell you that I don't know what nil I'm honestly gonna watch, but I will find a nil that I can watch. Trust me, I will. But this nail is almost done, bro. All right, this dude was my first nail that I ever watched. Good nail, though. Good nail. Hey, 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 bro. This is a good nail. I'm done watching this. I'm fucking done watching this. I'm definitely not watching a one minute. Not a one minute. 
that junk go fast. <laughs> that shit go fast if I wait a one minute deal. That junk be easy if I wait a one minute. I'm not watching a one minute. No, I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. I work out every day. Cool. Cool. That's good for you. I, I work out every day. She didn't waste no time because I really like her. Damn. You really like her? Damn. I mean, it's, I, I, mean I, like, I, like, I like everybody. You know what I'm saying? But hey, life goes on. Not everything will be perfect. You know what I'm saying? But everything goes on. It goes on different. I'm going to watch this dude talk about German. I had me see the damn deal. But you know what? We're going to watch the deal. Rise to the challenge. The rugged performance of a redesigned Honda Ridge Line. Max, do you have a problem with Draymond's ejection? I do. I have a problem as it relates to Draymond, not the ejection. No, but I have a problem with Draymond. Draymond. Like I said, Draymond, Draymond, he's a, um, the they, I think Draymond played point guard, swing guard. What do Draymond play in basketball? He play like small for it. I think that Draymond plays small for it, but I don't think he play point guard or swing guard. I think he plays small for it. That's what I think, though. Is, but I can't tell you that Draymond is but really in good in basketball, though. He's good, though. He's decent. Like, kind of Draymond is decent in basketball. Like, he barely hit problem. a three, though. He barely, like, like scored budgets, um, though. He made mayups. He made mid-range shots. He do the dunk the ball. The but Draymond, he passed the ball a lot. That dude is a playmaker, bro. He's a playmaker. But I heard, like, bro, Draymond got ejected two years, bro. He got ejected in the playoffs against the Kirby Cavaliers. He got ejected. Against the King. Was. That dude got ejected Draymond by every... That boy got ejected every single time, bro. And say but the that fact that Draymond got ejected, bro, that shit hurt. They were given a stimulus package, you called it. I'm not even going to sit here and count. In the dope, so many technical in the dope, Draymond Green got dropped from the Golden State Warriors. In the dope, he got ejected in some games. It was just funny, man. Because okay, like I said, no more text, Dre. We, we all end up getting ejected. So if you play, whoever played basketball, you can get ejected. Okay, if you have five fouls, not five fouls, but if you have six fouls, you're ejected out the game. You can't play no more. They're going to not let you play no more because you fouled in that person that much. So if you have a lot of fouls, you're not going to be able to play. You're going to be sitting on the bench watching your teammates play. That's just how it is. We have six If you foul them like six times, you're dejected. You can't be in the game, can't play. The coach can have you on the bench. So you won't be able to do what you want to do. You won't be able. You don't want me to be able to do anything. You want me to be able because like the coach had me on the bench. Because, you know, the referees, you know, when it comes to basketball, they have like referees, right? They have referees, and they got fouls too. So if you foul somebody, they're gonna be on the free throw now. Not like if you if you dribble the bar, if you don't go to the like three point nine, you can end up having back car right nation, three second right nation. Or if imagine if they throw the imagine they throw the imagine they throw the motherfucker up imagine they throw the damn ball up by the fucking basket and that nigga jump higher jump high as hell how they say by the ball tap that fucking ball and that motherfucker don't go in do you know those referees gonna call goal to them they're gonna call goal to them they gonna call goal to them bro that shit gonna be fucking goal to them and it, they gonna get a fucking point. Because you the one tapped the damn ball and got the ass a fucking point, and it, it's gold to them. You know what that shit is. That shit is fucking gold to them. Fuck it, man. Like that ass. But like I was saying, though, like, that's just how it is if you play basketball, though. When you play basketball, it's going to be street ball, but they're going to be playing street ball. When you dribble the ball, bro, you try to break somebody's ankle. You try to cross them. You try to hit them with a, like, step back, a fadeaway. Pull back. You try to hit them with a. You try to hit them with a. You try to shoot the ball in their mouth, boy. You try to hit them with a. You try to hit them with a post spin, post fadeaway. You try to hit them with a hook shot. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta pump fake their ass. Sometimes, sometimes their ass go jump for the fucking pump fake. Fuck me. That way. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they're gonna get the ball taken. They're gonna steal the ball. They're gonna block shots, grab rebounds. Back to back, put back. You know what I'm saying? They got to grab rebounds too, though. 
trouble. I ain't gonna lie. He doesn't die. Sometimes when you get the ball, you end up winning out of bounds. Sometimes I think he's a basketball. So like, like, like sometimes both basketball with Draymond Green. Like he knows you can end up. He's talking about. I mean, he running out of bounds though. But that's part. Like of sometimes problem. you get, bro. Sometimes so when you play basketball, you can get turnovers. Look, it's still the ball. Take the ball away for you, or they get out blocking your shot. That's just how it is if you play like basketball, though. I'm just keeping it weird, though, y'all. That Draymond, that boy Draymond, they do, hey, they do always be trying to fight somebody, bro. And God, that boy always be trying to fight somebody, bro. That dude, Draymond, he got a wife, though. That dude got two kids, but got two sons. Feel me? That dude got a family, some friends, but got some buddies. You know what I'm saying? You, he, got, he got a whole bunch of people in the family. He, he have his mom. He don't have it. It's fucked up. It's fucked up that Draymond Green. It's fucked up that his dad has it. That shit fucked up. He don't even have a dad in his life. The only person they have in his life is his mom, his sister, his cousin, his grandma. Bro. That's all Draymond Green had, bro. It was his life, bro. I want to throw this at you, Max. That shit is hurt, bro. With MJ. MJ was the unquestionable leader. You want me to tell you who I think gets let off the hook and Fuck, I'm losing sometimes? my damn words. Steph, I think I a sand, yeah, of Because guess what? Let me tell you something right now. That Even Draymond though, Green is that Draymond good in Green basketball. And it's my thing. I said Draymond is good. Bro. I say he's a good basketball player. I didn't say Draymond is the greatest basketball player. He's if decent. You, watch his you feel me? He scored 10 him. points. He, he, don't, no he scored 10 or 20 points a game. He None. doesn't drop Nobody. like 30, 40, 50 a game. Draymond dropped 10 and 20 points a game, bro. Those are those are the minute points that Draymond like scored, that. bro. But it's Draymond giving them those passes. In God, bro. Knowing where to get it to. And if, like if I said, other dudes to get basketball, bro, it's a street ball. ball. You know, basketball is all about street that ball, but it's street ball. ball. Basketball is a physical game, bro. It's a physical game now. Everybody play, bro. I'm just keeping the word here. It's a physical game, bro. In a manner that Draymond Green is embracing and accepting of whatever guidance. They throw in this direction. The fact that Draymond Draymond Green got dropped for the Gold State Warriors. I'm them he got dropped for the Gold State Warriors. That dude was happy as hell to get dropped for the Gold State Warriors. Now look, I know Draymond. That 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 nigga played for Michigan State, bro. He played for Michigan State. Dropped 10, 20 points a game. He averaged 30 points a game, bro. This dude was scoring 30 and 40 a game in, in college. When he got to the NBA, he was like, hey, this, this is going to be really Fizzle. The game that I play for the uh, Nets team is going to be a really Fizzle game. That's how he said it. He said it just like that. He said, if I play college, if I go to the NBA, it, it's going to be hard for me to score 30, 40 buckets like I do to in college. He said that, Joe, when he got to the NBA. But why are we still talking about Michael Jordan? That, that is Michael Jordan. Like as the mm. unquestioned alpha of that team, and I do think you you mentioned Steph by name. I do think that's the difference in the dynamic of this team. Yeah, I mean the thing is, people like Geico because it's just easy. Bundling, for example, you've got car insurance here and home insurance here. Why not? Zoop, put them together, save even more. Geico. Look at the Los Angeles Lakers and. They were my favorites coming into the season because I assumed that Anthony Davis. He said the Nakers. I feel like the Nakers are a good basketball team. I feel like the Butt Nets are a good team too. They're both good teams though. I was expecting that the Nakers is going to beat the Butt Nets. After seeing the Nakers lose against Butt Nets, I'm like, damn, bro. That's how I was, bro. For real. There is not one single team in the NBA. That can be less than 100%. In I agree. Brooklyn Nets. Not one. Nobody. I mean, their offense is just lethal. I'm calling them lethal weapon three. But I got to tell you something. When I look at uh, uh, Kyrie and the level of unselfishness. But Kyrie is hard to guard. Playing with right now in terms of getting other dudes involved. And some of the things that some of the some of the baskets he set up for other teammates. I'm looking at the great point guard play of James Harden. I'm fantasizing about what they'll be once KD comes back, assuming he comes back healthy. And if KD comes back healthy, I don't see how anybody can beat them because I don't think their defense is going to be as god-awful as it was earlier this season. And then not only that, I'm watching them get other people involved. TLC, Joe Harris, Jeff Green, and others. I'm watching them get other people involved, and I'm saying to myself, damn, 
you know what? Joe Harris is still getting some shots. Jeff Green is still getting some shots. TLC still gets some shots. DeAndre Jordan has been a presence in the middle. We can't ignore defensively rebounding as well. Um, I'm just looking at them potentially. Let me not forget Landry Shaman as well, who can shoot the rock. They can go nine or ten deep. And I look at it from that standpoint. Bruce Brown can't forget about him either. I'm just looking at them and I'm saying, excuse me, who the hell's gonna beat him? Because guess what? A tight. Once you're on offense, because you know you have to be close to perfect, because these guys are so unstoppable on the offensive end of the floor themselves. That can make you tight. That can alter and compromise what you're trying to do offensively as a result of it. And then you won't be as effective as you're supposed to be. Now, with the Clippers last night, uh, minutes restriction. Listen, I love Ty Lue. He's a coach of the year candidate. I think he's doing a phenomenal job. And I'm very, very happy he got that job. But when he laughed at the reporter because, you know, this incredulous look because the reporter asked him about Paul George being out of the game. Look, man, minutes restrictions or not, you got to make sure Paul George is in the game around money time, particularly the way he was flowing last night. I thought that was a very legitimate question and there was nothing to dismiss about that. But in the end, it didn't matter. The Brooklyn Nets are the best team in basketball at this particular moment in time. A month from now, two months from now, postseason time, we can revisit it. At this moment, Brooklyn Nets are the best team in the world. Yeah, I mean, look, if, if AD is not playing, I can't say the Lakers, right? But I'm assuming AD will play. They're taking precautions. They're being, they're going to be extremely careful with AD. And what I've seen from this Lakers team this season, when AD is on the floor, is basically a continuation of last season. They went wire to wire as the best team in the Western Conference. They gentlemen swept the entire Western Conference, 4-1, 4-1, 4 one 4 one and then they didn't even get extended seven games in the finals. Now, let's take that team, clearly the best team in basketball, right? Like, listen to those facts. Did they get better or worse in the offseason? They got better. And they're the only team, when AD is healthy, that is absolutely elite on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Now, we agree about Brooklyn's offense. I keep saying it. They, if aren't, they're not already, they will certainly, clearly, and by far, be the best offense of all time by the end of this season. Just want to mention the best offense according to efficiency numbers, right? Of all time occurred last season, the Dallas Mavericks, but they were a good team. Uh, and Porzingis got hurt in that Clipper series, but they didn't come close to winning a championship because you also have to play defense. No team in the last 20 years has won a finals with a defense ranked under 11. And the Nets have been playing better defense. Harden's not wrong. He's like, we don't have to be amazing. We just have to be you know, middle of the pack. He's right about that. But if they are, what I see is a clash of the Titans in the finals. Lakers, Clippers. And by the way, the win against the Clippers, no Paul George at the end of that game. And I know I more than anyone have been saying he has to prove it in the playoffs, Paul George. He looks like a man on a mission to me so far to try to prove that in the playoffs. Like he's heard the criticism and he wants to do something about it. Stephen A., he dropped, what, 12 points in five minutes in the fourth quarter? And one thing you and I definitely agree upon is even if there's a minutes restriction, we don't have to be fanatical about it. If it's a game like that and a dude is hot and you need him for a couple minutes at the end of the game, going over your minutes restrictions by 90 seconds or two minutes ain't going to result in an injury, you know, knock wood. It's not, I don't think, I don't believe that. And I think that that would have been the smart thing to do, but they didn't. And so the Nets won a game with on a bad call on an offensive foul that shouldn't have been called on Kawhi Leonard and without Paul George on the floor, they squeaked by a Clippers squad um, that also poses its own threats. I'd say the Nets are, are probably going to come out of the East. I can't say if AD's healthy, they're the best team in the world right now. Well, I can. I can. The way that they're looking, they've beaten everybody that matters right in front of them. Utah Jazz have been on a torrid stretch, winning like 20 or 20, uh, 19 of the last 20 or 20 of their last 21 games. Oh, well, one of those losses were to the Brooklyn Nets. By 34, by 34, you know, they've beaten everybody in their path, beating both L.A. teams, beating, you know, Golden State, beating Indiana, beat Boston, uh, anybody that stands in their way. And the better the team is, the better Brooklyn plays against them. It seems like the teams that have the best shot are the teams that are sticking up the joint because they might play down to the competition, feeling they could take a night off or whatever. But they get up, they rise to the occasion. 
and I just this is probably like my third, like Kyrie this is probably like my Harden. third nail that I'm like, my third nail. And Kevin Durant is not a because I watched like six nails today, and I just not to watch six nails because that's what I put up thirty. I watched like six nails of shots. That's how lethal Kevin Durant. I don't know what nail I'm gonna watch, but I'm gonna find out what nail I'm going to watch. That's what I'm gonna find out. Yeah, so, when AD gets back, the Lakers are different. But my God, when KD gets back, and if, if he gets back as himself, he's also a defensive force. And this year, even when he hasn't been, he's at least accepted the assignment. Who's the other team's best perimeter player? Fine, I'll guard him. So, yes, I do think if the Nets are healthy, they're going to get out yeah, of the If East the Nets stay healthy, bro, it's going to be hard to beat the Nets in the NBA, bro. Recently, it's going to be hard to beat him in the playoffs. Have something to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming I, sports I, I, and premium I, content, I, I, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. That buzz said, if the Browns say he's okay, he's okay. Damn. I don't see this new at all. Who's hurt for the Los Angeles Lakers right now? That would be Anthony Davis. It, it would even be Dennis Schroeder. It would not be LeBron James. LeBron James. Damn, he's able not be the LeBron James. LeBron James, LeBron James, James is the greatest friend they made, though. He's Don't mind him. Like I we said, I'm a nose of fan. But LeBron James is right, the best friend they made. All right, you got Kevin to admit. Durant has missed Don't games. be a hater. Just, uh, by the just way, admit. Kevin Durant, who's fresh off you know an Achilles tear. His average is 25.7 yeah. minutes a game. 25 points a game. He, he dropped 25 okay. so points for y'all niggas, man. When you look at LeBron James, his minutes this are nigga not something racist. to be concerned about because if there's this one thing racist. that LeBron James has nigga trying to put the gun at me, talking about he going to kill me because I'm the last. This nigga racist. He's staying racist people, bro. When it comes to his own I feel like people that be wasting somebody because of the cut of their skin, they deserve to get their ass beat. They deserve to be chill. I'm just talking about the people that put a gun in people's head. I'm trying to be wasting because of their skin. They deserve to get beat up. That's just my opinion. And get their ass beat. And go to jail. That's why I truly think about the people that be That He ain't the most reliable shooter for the free throw line in the world. Is he talking about the burn, bro? Or is he talking about Kyrie? Because like I said, the burn James is a good shooting there are a litany of examples and i tell you that for the jump would do to our younger but somehow some way can't stay nearly as healthy as this guy continues to stay throughout i mean the brian james be playing for the naked for two years it, i would say he be playing for the naked for two relaxed. years bro. if lebron james well, says he's okay he's okay if yeah he, he did say he's okay if he's okay he mean everything he said then we need to be concerned he has earned that because his reputation is history and his resume demands it. Yeah, I don't agree. Well, you got jokes, but there is truth to what you say in terms of giving LeBron the benefit of the doubt. Always true to what I say. You got to give LeBron the thing. You got to give him the bit of this and the doubt and the spec, bro. Obviously, but I was just using all of human history versus the odds that I was talking to myself. What you doing with LeBron? He did it. That's what you doing with LeBron? Yes. That, that's that's right, and LeBron has already done something like what Brady is doing. But that doesn't is he talking about Ty Brady? Ty Brady there. won seven Super Bowls, bro. The well, Brian James Lakers won four Brady championships. This level was Kobe Bryant. Please don't put Kobe Ty Brady and Brian James in the exact same school. sentence, bro. Also, Tom Brady, he won way championships. You can put Ty Brady in the exact same sentence and Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. You can put them in the exact same sentence. You could. And was able to play season in and season you could out if at you an want. absurdly high level on offense and the dude played I'm, defense. I'm good, yeah. Both. And I was in L.A., Stephen A., on the air on L.A. radio doing afternoon drive when Kobe Bryant staged essentially a mutiny against Mike Dantone. It's a number 42, y'all. What Dan was doing was not working with the Lakers' dream team. Remember the Dwight I can't wait for my concert tomorrow, Cash, though. My concert tomorrow will be Bryant, lit. Dream team, this whole the whole thing. They weren't going to make the playoffs. It was so disastrous. Kobe said, forget all this. Yeah, Kobe Bryant did show. say, forget this about it. I'm going to play that, uh, 40 minutes a game. Like and I said, Kobe Bryant, he's the best basketball player on the planet. To take Kobe out, especially when Don't take Kobe, Kobe Bryant out, fuck me. And he was playing like 40-something minutes a game for a couple weeks. And couple I was weeks. on the air saying, wait, wait, wait. careful. And Be then careful. the Achilles went. Now, Stephen A., it's not the same thing. I'm not pretending this is the same thing. It's LeBron's not averaging forty something minutes. He can't, but the Brian he can't drop forty. He can't drop forty if he wants to. He just don't want to. The matter is, if 
field a job 40, he would he don't want to ball her. He said, I'm going to drop 20, 30 every game. I ain't going to drop no 40 points. That's how the Brian J was. That out. He did drop 50. He did drop 50 when he played for the Caribbean Cavaliers. if I'm out of wrong. Is it having that impact on his own and the team's performance? Nah, nah, What's it bro. Mean for the nah, finals? bro. Or, or the for the nah. Is the the name around? With this and number three, the you risk of injury. First of all, you're the Brian right. Jays, bro. Right he been Kobe, Brian Jays never give right up. Then, Tony when the Brian Jays get injured, bro, Kobe to play he n- those this nigga it stuck his mid finger at me talking about fuck me. That nigga's racist as fuck with his big body up. So was I. And I spoke to my dear Tony about it. My dear Tony made no apologies for the minutes that Kobe Bryant was playing at that particular moment in time. He did not mind at all. That's what What my dear Tony does. Go look at Steve Nash. Go look at his resume with Steve Nash. Go look at what he did. Go look at the minutes Amari Stoudemire was playing before his knees gave out. My dear Tony, the Sean Marion's of the world and others. Mike D'Antoni had no problem riding. I mean, that brother would drive you into the... That boy said, you still play the minutes. That's what that boy said every day. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it is Kobe Brown. Yeah. That is what he has done. And in terms of LeBron James, as it pertains to Tom Brady, what I'm saying to you is this. Because Tom Brady was that aberration, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, quit talking. Talk to them. Talk to the people that don't want to hear this. Evidence there for you. They're going to learn their next. They're going to they're going to skip you, bro. But get talking. Your usual logic towards that. <laughs> they're going to skip you and me. Attrition and all of those things. That's just the injury part. part. That's LeBron James. How come he can't be trusted? We're focusing on the injury part. We focus on the injury. What do you mean what about the performance part? The brother had 31 and 13 last night. LeBron James. It's not that he can't Balls it's not today. like he can't I'm ball. About his performance now it's not he like he can't the ball. On offense right now is the lowest right now. since his rookie year. It's still right freaking now, but it's all prime with me. Right freaking now. And he plays into the finals every year. But he had these, this, this was going on even before Anthony Davis got injured. Damn, bro. See that Honda badge? It's We're going to watch this nil. I nab nil. It's going to be a trail minute. We gonna watch. It's gonna be a trail minute. Brown with his KD. Nah, I think I, I think I meant I was that one. Fuck it, I meant I was. Put Grace in your screen. Get to the nil. Let's get it popping. It's my five nil. I gotta watch for the men. Boo bear back. Boo bear back with some boo bear dance moves. Yeah, sir, man. First of all. Perk, why don't you smile with your whole face? Yeah. That smile looked like the Damn. hardest thing anyone had to do. Let me see yeah, a smile. I'm smiling every day, like bro. a scowl smile. Can't you ever come out seven. here and be happy? Happy to see your boys. Don't play it off like you're Yeah, you, you gotta be happy, happy to see, see your boys. Knock it off. That's the first thing. Look at that. That's the first thing the you ever thing see. The, the LeBron James. <laughs> there it is. There it is. LeBron James. The LeBron James, LeBron James situation is a lot I know. of a bunch of overlapping well, issues. The answer is yes, they should rest them. But let me okay. tell you why. There are a bunch of reasons. Number one, it's his effectiveness as he plays right now. It's gone down a little bit as his minute load has increased, which is the case with a lot of players, particularly a guy in his 18th season, who no one's ever had the status of LeBron in terms of where he ranks among the elite players this many minutes and this many miles into their NBA season. Every time he takes the floor, he's setting a new record. He's breaking his own record. So we don't know how that aging process is going to go or what to expect. But we do know that if you play a dude a ton of minutes, usually it can fatigue him. And LeBron's effectiveness recently has gone down a little bit. Not a whole lot. He's still a great, of course, he's LeBron James, but a little bit. The second thing is this. Lakers got their eyes on the prize, and boy, they better. They better hope AD comes back and healthy. And that's going to be a whole lot to get by that Nets team if that team really starts playing defense the way they've been playing. They're going to need LeBron at his very best. What he learned in Miami, after Miami, going to Cleveland, is I can't play both ends of the floor like I did in Miami and get to the finals every year as I get older and still be just as effective. So he learned how to manage that a little bit. And then AD challenged him to be more intense on the defensive end, and he did. But again, this is all happening. The, The greater intensity on the defensive end, then in Cleveland from an earlier point in the season, the more minutes and everything at an unprecedented 
old age in terms of the number of minutes he's played in the NBA. So there's that effectiveness now and effectiveness to win a championship, which is the point. And then thirdly, and Stephen A, we want to latch on to this, only one of the three reasons. Of course, you're concerned about injury at his age, given the number of miles he's played, given the pounding he takes, given the physical freak that he is. Of course, the more minutes you play, the more apt you are to wind up with an injury and hopefully not, but it's possible, catastrophic one. All three of those reasons tell me I know AD is out. The temptation play him more minutes. I think the Lakers should pull back a little. I tell you something, you know, um, I've been very, very blessed uh, in my career. Obviously, you know, I've signed on and, you know, signed on with ESPN for years to come. And I'm very, very happy about that. I'm living quite well. But every time I listen to you talk, uh, particularly about an athlete um, that has been around for a while and how age and attrition and reasons for concern and their injuries. I look at ESPN and I just want to see the because I think I should get paid more just for having Sorry. to listen to you in this dribble. It makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, this is, you're the guy, as I told, at, at Perk, I told him at the top of the show, you know, four years ago, because he started on July 25th, 2016, and he sat up there and said that Tom Brady would be done. He's going to fall over a cliff or whatever. Tom Brady proceeds to go to four Super Bowls over the next five years and win three of them. Okay, and it took he about, about Tom Brady winning three Super, Super Bowls. Wrong, right Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl did. Hey, Tom Brady did James. win three Super LeBron Bowls. James is 36 years of age. I ain't going to lie. He's in his 18th season in the I'm going to keep it well. But it's Dennis Schroeder that's hurt. And it's Anthony Davis that's hurt. LeBron ain't missed a game. LeBron he did not. came into the season complaining about the short window. LeBron James be going to the playoffs every year. Starting <laughs> the next season after finishing every the goddamn in October, year, bro. And still has not missed a game. Okay. Damn right. I think Steph Curry has missed games. Yeah, Steph Curry has missed, missed, missed some games. basketball games. That's I think CJ McCollum clearly has missed games. Nurkic has exactly. missed games. Stars throughout the league have missed games. Yeah, they have. Except LeBron James. Except LeBron, LeBron James. 18 years. 36 years of age. Who's yeah. known for spending more than a million dollars on his body. And we see why. Yeah, now, we see I'm it. trying to figure out why the hell ain't nobody else duplicating what he's doing. I want to know the damn formula. I don't have that money. But damn it, I, wa- I want to know what yeah. he's doing so I can at least invest something. I mean, my God. This is if there's ever a person to listen to. When it exactly, comes to bro. their body. What level of fatigue might be, you know, might, might be injected into the equation. Or lack thereof. It would be him. Now. If you want to point to something, point to the sixty-three percent shooting for the free throw line. Exactly, bro. Point to the sixty. Like I said, y'all, uh, this is like my point five nil that I'm watching. So after that, get on watching my six nils, y'all. I'm gonna to that, honestly be playing my little games. But I'm not concerned and honestly about doing what I gotta do. Y'all. That's what I'm honestly gonna be doing. I'm not concerned about him getting. That's what I'm honestly gonna be doing. I'm you gonna be listening to my because music, LeBron playing my little games, and just working out. And I'm gonna get my workout. I'm most happy. Let him worry about it. Because yeah. he knows his body better than most, and he takes care of his body. Yeah, he do take care of his body every day. Body. I take care of my body every day. I work out every day. I'm a skinny guy. I'm a guy that I'm too small, too little. I'm too short, though. To him. People hate on me because I'm 5'5". Five, five. Five. You know what I'm saying? People hate on me because I weigh like 11. You know what I'm saying? Hey, haters going to hate, though. It doesn't even matter. For real. Had messed with him. See, he took that time off because he recognized, yo, I'm not feeling right. It's the only time he had ever done that in his career, okay? Thank so God. let's listen to him and defer to him. He would know. And he, he has would know. that proves he Swear can to God, be He would know, bro. Do just that. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. All right. Live stream. I'm going to watch my sis deal. content. Subscribe to ESPN+. All right. Plus. I'm definitely not watching now. Let me I'm find a deal. Engineer. We built our 5G nationwide so millions of people could do what they love. You know, I watch this deal, why not? Welcome back to the Kia Post It's our nice deal we're going to watch, y'all, before I go. For real. Quarter. It's a big night for us. It's a never minute. It's like a never 21 minute, and we're going to watch it. LeBron joined the coup after a big win in LA, MA on Tuesday. That's what's up. LeBron J is talking to them after he take that dub. That's what's up. What's up? What's up? Brian J, you the greatest basketball player alive, bro. Go, go talk your shit. Talk your shit, Brian James. What up, man? What's going on, Trey? If I would have taken a dub, I would be talking about shit too. If I take a W. If I beat somebody in basketball, I'm talking about shit. I don't give a damn. You put a lot of pressure on me, man. But that's just a fact, bro. If I beat somebody, I'm taking my dub. You know what I'm saying? 
That's you know, as bad, someone, bro. we we in For the studio real. talking about this, but as someone who went to eight finals, eight finals in a row, uh, what are you looking for um, out of AD? You know, being the next guy next. He has the bride What next do next you look for at AD? I don't know what the Brian J gonna say about AD. I don't know what he gonna say about Davis. I mean, we are gonna play a lot of um, you know, regular season games. It's gonna feel like playoff intensity. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, because I, everybody get up to play us. So yeah, you know, a lot of our games, especially yeah. on the road, yes, sir. have some type of playoff yeah. intensity. So with AD yeah. being, you know, we hear that. We hear that, y'all. We hear that. We hear that. The goat. You know, the Brian James. The goat. Like, you know, greatest basketball pro alive, man. Kind of envision that being in the postseason not, as well. So, yeah, the greatest you know, pro. I'm not a fan of LeBron year, James, you know, but he's a goat. The, the greatest alive. Being the defensive player of the year that he's capable yeah. of being. He's been doing yeah, he's going to be the defensive so, player of the year. About consistency and also his leadership. Yeah. You know, his leadership has gotten better, yeah. and better and better as the months have went on. And, you know, let's get me, it. I'm just kind of watching. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. I said let's get it, man. You know, just let him do it. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, man. And also, let's get it, bro. We, we all talk about this. Obviously, 35 years old. Uh, yeah, let's right get it, man. In the NBA. Let's get it. Um, but let's I, get it, man. I feel like I've been as your teammate. I saw you in your prime. I saw how let's great you were. But now, at this age, um, with all the experience you have, you seem like on some nights the game is. Yeah. Good. You've gotten better. Yeah, sir. Let's Talk get it. What's popping, man? What's good, time, man? MVP. Yeah, what's popping? What's good, man? Um, and the things they should be looking yes, for as a basketball player to inspire to always be there. Exactly. Themselves. Period, think, man. Um, you know, when you have all the athleticism, um, you have all the quickness, you have all the speed. Yeah. You get, yeah. You jump as high as you can at that point yes, in sir. your career. I think that's when you need to sharpen your mind even more. So Why? You later on in your career, you know, you're yeah. sharp. You know, we're all NBA players. Uh, exactly. Us, you know, because of our God-given ability. The way exactly, we're able to do bro. With the basketball, the way we're able to come together exactly. as a team. But it's you do keep one, it in one hundred with y'all. Kind of keeping the wheel. And also, I don't think the game. He keeping it as stack with y'all, bro. He keeping it a stack with y'all. Guys, it's about want taking care of your body. You Take know, care of your body, body, bro. Also being able to be coachable. And this nigga waste his fuck too. Work either you know when you nigga stuck in his damn nigga finger at me. That nigga waste his fuck, bro. I can't stand waste his niggas, bro. I can't stand waste his motherfuckers either. I can't stand waste his bitches or waste his motherfuckers. I can't stand. That's all I gotta say. You know, to kind of just prolong. I'm talking about the girls that is racist, the boys is that racist. I can't stand it. Fitness, you know, always help you down your career. LeBron, I played with some of the all-time greats, including yourself. But you're the first yeah, he did, guy he did play against the greatest uh, basketball players the board. in so basketball. The goals I agree. The Lakers when you first got there. Well, not last year, but, but this year, you know, with the addition of eight. I don't know what the Brown James was thinking when he first came to the Lakers. I don't know. Uh, I think it was all about hey, mental focus. Um, you know, he I played with Nonzo first time. time. To be able to played with, um, you know, that, that, that what did he play? He played with a McGee. McGee, yeah. He played with McGee on the Nakers. McGee, he's, he's just big as hell. He can dunk on everybody. He can dunk on me. I'm too little, bro. I'm too small. Dude would beat every me one-on-one. -on -one. I would score a bucket on him, but he would still beat me. He's just too big, bro. He can easily baby me to the day of paint every day of the possession. He'll baby me to the goddamn the paint every goddamn possession. And I won't be able to guard that because that nigga big as hell. Nigga seven foot. I'm five five. Like goddamn. You know, everybody just kind of following. You know, me and AD. But hey, I score. I score. I score a bucket on him. But other than that, I I know I'm making my ass beat because he's big as hell. If it was my height, hey, I'm gonna win. If it's like my height, I'm winning. Just that easy. Focus. It's gonna be an easy dub. This year, if he's like the same height, the Lakers I'm really winning. On if he's not the same game. height, me, I made which has allowed you guys to have. You, know uh, you guys are top four in league defensively. You guys are able to get out and transition and give fans. Uh, I mean, yeah, give to, fans to what they the want. They want. They want, they want y'all to win. First, they don't want y'all to lose. They want y'all to take the easy way out. And they want y'all to take the dub, bro. Listen, D Wade's a rookie. So we had to make every year, bro. donuts today. But I was just wondering if there's anything else. That's all I have to say about the Wizards. Yeah, I got text Adam <laughs> and I text the boy, the I swear, bro, okay, so it was a couple girls, girls that was being racist to me. Like, you girls, know, it was a whole, most of the girls were stuck in their makeup friends like me too. And these girls that like stuck in their makeup friends, they were racist as hell. The guys that were stuck in their makeup friends like me, they were racist as hell. I can't stand racist people. Yeah, I know. Um, and then you bring in an Avery Bradley, you bring in a Danny Green, you bring in an Anthony Davis, you bring in a Dwight Howard. Um, exactly. You know, you have these defensive minded guys that buy into it right away and then everybody else falls into place. You know, so 
Um, it's been great for us, um, you know, all year. We have so many great defenders, both at the wing spot. Yeah, you got to be grateful. Position, and then, and then be Terry thankful, you know what I'm saying? Be blessed and and Dwight. that you're in this world. Um, so that's worked out for us uh, tremendously. So you don't know um, when you're going to ask. The second question, you, you always don't. can. No, you can have him wear like a little Dory Explorer book bag there we go. Or, or, or SpongeBob SquarePants book bag. Or you can make him carry your bag into work. That's you know, he can carry like all that. y'all bags into work, bring y'all some newspapers, all, you know, you know, rookie duty, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> he can pick y'all up, take oh, y'all bro. to work and stuff like that. Uh, oh, my bad, D-Way. My, my fault. My fault. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm bad. laughs> all right. Le- LeBron, man, 6'3", 3 tying the season high. And not one, not two, but five of them in the fourth. Take me through how you were feeling towards the end of this game, man. Um, you know, uh, they, they cut the lead in the third quarter, and uh, I knew I was going back in the fourth. So just tried to put a little pressure, see if my hand was hot. Um, you know, my teammates did a good job of getting me the ball. And, you know, they, they were, you know, kind of daring me to shoot the ball. Yeah. Something I work on every single day. So I just believed in my ability to shoot it from the perimeter. Um, a few of them went in. The crowd went crazy. My teammates – uh you know, beat me up. I ain't got jumped like that uh, since, you know, I was like growing up in the places that you should grow up in. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's fun, man. It's fun to be able to, you know, have a moment like that where you get in the zone and your teammates are celebrating and, and cheering for you and your crowd is going crazy. So, uh, yeah. all, all the blessings to the man above. That's for sure. Yeah, it wasn't just crowd going crazy. Social media was going nuts. Another one, DJ Cowboy. <laughs> James knocking it's down. It's trans as a PM in his mouth for the We're not worthy. <laughs> we're not worthy. Damn. And Julian added LeBron, and you were practically the dude at the arcade, man. That was awesome to watch. Yeah, Papa shot. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. That's for sure. All right, so we did notice something on the amazing app that is TikTok. Is that LeBron? Bro, TikTok is fucking kids. ass, bro. Why everybody get watching TikTok, bro? Why everybody listen to TikTok, bro? TikTok are ass cheats, bro. Whoever that be on TikTok is not worth it. TikTok is not worth it, bro. The only thing you can do on TikTok, you can sing on there, you can dance, you can shake your ass on there. Like, they're just stupid as hell. Did you have, like TikTok is a stupid ass app, bro? This shit is trash, bro. This shit is rap. That's what a guy that shit is with. You got the racist, the racist bitches. These racist bitches, they own TikTok too. You got these racist bitches on TikTok shaking their ass and dancing the shit. You got these racist niggas dancing, shake, dancing, singing the shit, rapping the shit. You got these racist girls. Now I'm not gonna call them racist. I'm gonna call them wishes. Racist bitches. That's what I'm gonna call These racist bitches. They be um they be automatically rapping too. And and they be making goddamn paragraphs on goddamn TikToks and shit. Well he made me look good. Same with the racist niggas too. Do I gotta bring donuts again? Was that was that enough right there? I'm not I'm not talking about everybody, I'm talking about the racist people. I'm talking about the girls and boys that waste his hell. For real. Lots of people I'm talking about. All right, let's get to the I'm highlights. Saying. Lakers, it started off really slow. They started picking up in the second quarter. This is where Kansas was spotlight and transition. And that's the thing. They outscored San Antonio. I think they had 17-2 to two transition. Okay, but, uh, when you have AD and LeBron, and you have to guard them 94 feet. Nobody wants that. Oh, that was nice. Oh, wow. Lakers shot a season high 58.8% from the field and still dominated on the glass. Second half, four of the same. Great and the Brian James, he was in his bag. That nigga was in his duffy. His old mellow. The boy, the Brian and Davis, they went off. They was in their bag, bro. That's what a guy it was. There's in a duffy. Yeah. 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 You know, Adam, the one thing which the few games I've watched this year, and when you think about a long run in the playoffs, you yes. think about winning the championship. As LeBron a, gets hot from three. They had a 13-5 run, uh, San Antonio did, on the Lakers when LeBron went to the bench. Um, and that that's something they're going to have to do. They're going to find their game when he goes to the bench. Right. And right now, I think they're struggling a little bit. I don't know the season numbers, but every time I've watched it, they struggle a little bit when he goes to the bench. And a lot of you know, to be able to carry that second load and continue the ball movement. LeBron or Steph Curry? Me after LeBron hit five straight threes. Have a game, LeBron. Social was going absolutely crazy. That last one was a super heat check. 
he had like a pump fake, another pump fake, step back. Oh, man. But everybody going crazy that motherfucker. Just cut the Brian drop 36. Just cut the Brian drop 36 points. That, shit, that don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean a damn thing. The Brian LeBron James, he played good. Just because you dropped 36 points. Why are y'all getting so hyped because you dropped 36? Okay, we can be hyped. We can be hyped of the Brian James dropping 36 points. We can be hyped of him going off, being in his bag, being in his duppy, and winning the game by his, winning the game while Davis are playing with him. Huh? Okay. I know I'm here. Yeah. 